Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Angie's Answers. I wanted to come back to you today. I got a questions how to update the simulator version on a laptop or a desktop computer. So that last video that I posted, we showed how to get that file from a laptop or a desktop and then to update your machine and your tablet on your ProStitcher on your actual machine. But I got the question on how do you update the simulator version. So I am coming back on Zoom so I could record this in screen share. So let me come and share my screen. This is ProStitcher.com, but the first thing I wanna show you, I'm gonna minimize this out, and this is my ProStitcher Premium. So I do already have the sim mode installed on my laptop. Anytime you click to open that, you're going to get um, another pop-up window that asks if you want to allow it. So you do have to click yes on that. Then we'll give it just a second and it's gonna open up my Pro Stitcher in the simulator version. The reason that I know that it's in simulator version is because my crosshairs are green. And then I have this button right here that says simulate. When you are on your machine, you don't wanna have green crosshairs and you don't wanna see that simulate button because when it's in the simulation mode, it can't connect to the motors and you won't be able to run any patterns. So it's important that when you're using your machine, the tablet on your machine, that your crosshairs are orange. That's how you know that the computer, machine, everything is connected. So I wanna come in here and I wanna check what version I currently have for my simulator. So if I click over here in this upper right-hand corner, there's a little letter I. And then in the second row, if I click on about, that shows me that this is the current version I have installed on my laptop. So it's the 2103.531. There is a new version, and the way that you find out if there is a new version is by going to ProStitcher.com. So I am in here, ProStitcher.com. If I hover my mouse above the ProStitcher option and scroll down to where it says software, click on that, and that's going to show us all of the different software versions that are currently available. So the current version is 2105.535. Whenever they release a new version, that number is going to be higher. So that's how you know if you have the latest version or if you're ready to update. So I'm going to click on that plus button there and scroll down just a little bit. This tells me that it's for all brands. It tells me when it was released and again tells me that software number. So I'm gonna click right here on download. That is going to ask me if I wanna open it or save it. You do want to just save that file. So I'm gonna click on save. I'm using Mozilla Firefox for my browser. If you use Edge or Chrome, you just need to find where your downloads are. For me on Firefox, mine are in my upper right-hand corner. I know sometimes um, different browsers will put your downloads in different areas. So just find where it downloaded, and it's important that you click the option to open that file in the containing folder or in the file explorer. You don't just want to open that download right away. Because it's zipped, we need to go in and unzip it. So I'm going to click on the option to open the file in its containing folder. And as you can see right here, that tells me that this is that update and it is zipped. So I did already try it one time. That's why you can see that there's two here. So I'm going to double click on that. That's going to give me the pre-install and the update. So I wanna select both of these. I wanna do a right click and copy. I already have my USB stick plugged in. So I'm gonna come down here to my stick. And as you can see, I have already pasted them inside of my stick. If you haven't, you would do a right click and then you would choose this option to paste. And that would bring both of these files into your stick for you, on your stick for you. You should have already done this with the steps that we did in the previous video on how to update your Pro Stitcher on your um, actual machine. So you should already have both of these files on a stick if you did that one first. So I'm gonna close this out and I'm gonna just minimize this ProStitcher.com so we can get back to our simulator version. So now when I'm ready to update, I'm gonna to go to the file tab up here in the top left corner. In the second row, I'm going to click on update. And do you see how right here, it already found my USB stick? So the Pro Stitcher program automatically went to my stick and it shows me that these are the two updates that I have saved to my stick. 
You always want to do the pre-install first. So I'm going to click on that one and then I'm going to click run. It's going to close out the Pro Stitcher program and then it's going to open up another box that tells me that it's checking the versions. So we'll give it just a second to open up that box. So it tells me welcome to the installer. This is the version that I'm going to install so I can go ahead and click on start. It's going to open up this box to tell me that it is already installed on my computer. If this doesn't pop up for you and it asks you to install a program, you want to agree to the terms and then install that program. Then this is another one that pops up, this .NET. So same thing, if you don't get a um, notification saying that it's already installed, you want to go ahead and agree and then install that program as well. So it tells me that my installation is complete so I can close this out. It doesn't automatically open up my Pro Stitcher program again. So I do have to come over here. You'll find your icon. It's always saved to your desktop. So I can double click that. It again opens up that pop-up asking me if I want to allow it. So I click yes on there. And then it's going to open up our simulator program again. Then I'm still in my file tab. So in the second row right here, I'm going to click on update again. Give it just a second. There we go. Then I'm going to click on that new file, that higher number, that 535, and then click run in the bottom right hand corner. It is once again going to close out that Pro Stitcher program. So you want to give it just a second. And right here, it tells me that this is my installed version, the 531. And then this is the version that I am updating to, 535. So now that that premium program closed out in the background, I can go ahead and click start. It asks me if I'm ready to install, so I can click confirm. If you notice, it doesn't ask me um, what version or what machine I have because it knows that I'm in simulator version. So it doesn't ask me what machine I have. My pop-up is trying to block this. So down here, I have to tell it to trust this program before it's gonna be able to finish. Every computer is gonna be a little bit different. So you just want to make sure you're paying attention to anything that pops up. So this is all done. I can go ahead and click close. This time it does automatically open up the Pro Stitcher program for you. So we'll give it just a second to open that up. Then I wanna double check that it did update for me. So I can come again to that upper right hand corner, click on that little letter I, and then in the second row I can click about. And now it tells me that I'm on that 535. So one of the biggest differences between 531 and 535 is I have an option to open up areas. So if I come to this area tab, see how I have all of these different areas? That's one of the biggest differences. There is also going to be more designs. So if I come to my file, design, and open, if we click on like Anne Bright, for example, you'll see that you now have light blue designs inside of here. So these are all of the new designs that Anne Bright decided to give with this newest version of Pro Stitcher. So we got a hundred more new designs with this newest version of Pro Stitcher. So I hope that helps make sense on how to go ahead and update the simulator version on your laptop or your desktop computer. Um, let me come back and stop screen sharing. If you're not sure how to get that simulator version on a laptop, there are instructions on ProStitcher.com to get that simulator version on the laptop. It's really easy. Step by step, follow that through. Basically what we just did. So I hope that helps make sense on how to go ahead and update that. It's important that you update both of them at the same time. So now my machine is updated to that 535. And now my simulator on my laptop is also updated. So I hope that you guys have a great day. And if you have any questions that you think of that you would like me to answer, please send us an email at quiltingconnectionwi at yahoo.com, or you can comment below. Um, and of course, please remember to like, subscribe, follow. We have our YouTube channel that you're currently on. We have our TikTok and our Facebook and our Instagram. So we're trying to make sure that we can stay connected to you guys and help answer any questions that you might have. Thank you again for watching and have a great day.